Today we are adding soffits. And we already know that the boards we installed for the bird box are flush with the underside of the subfascia. So we can just add some 2x4s along that same plane. That will give us something to nail the soffit to. Now we can measure the width of the soffit. And cut a piece of plywood or other soffit material to fit. And do the same on the other side. We need to cut holes in the soffit for the vents. Just make sure they're between the rafters. Now I can measure the rake soffit and it is 23 and a half inches by seven feet one inch. So I will cut a piece of plywood or soffit material for that area and nail it on the bottom. Now I can measure for the bird box and it is nine and an eighth by 23 and a half. So I will cut a small piece for that area. Now I can do the same on the other side. It should be the exact same measurement, but I will measure just in case. Then repeat the process on the other side. The next thing we can do is put on the finished fascia material on the rake edge of the gable and cover the bird box with the same material. Then put the fascia on the sloped edge. If we look at the data sheet for the ice and water shield, we can see that it goes over the finished fascia. It should overlap the fascia by about two inches. Then we can install the rest of the ice and water shield or the tar paper. Now we can do the same on the other side. Now I can put on the drip edge. Make sure the drip edge does not touch the fascia. It should be about a quarter to a half inch away. You need to have space to tuck the gutters up underneath and you don't want the water running down the front of the fascia. Now I'm just going to find the center of the building and copy the drip edge to the other side. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.